All right, man, we got another make it make sense. So I made a post the other day talking about Deshaun Watson, the penalty, you know, and basically saying the NFL didn't care about sexual abuse. And I stand by it. They don't. But now they come back and all of a sudden now they're going to basically dismiss what the arbitrator judge did. And, you know, they want to file an appeal in federal court because after all the backlash and what people have said, now all of a sudden they don't think that six games is enough. So they act like they do care. Don't fall for it, people. Don't fall for the BS. They don't care. And it's not only that they don't care. Why did they even hire this woman? You hire a lady to basically tell you what she found, and then all of a sudden, well, you don't like what her punishment was. Well, then why did you hire her to begin with? Well, I mean, seriously, why, why did you even waste her time? But the big problem with it all is, is because the lady called out the NFL's hypocrisy. Now, look, I'm not one of those guys that are going to tell you, oh, I'm, I'm never watching the NFL again. I'm going to watch, and I'm going to love it. I'm going to watch it every single week. But that doesn't mean that the NFL is absolutely not full of it and the hypocrisy has got to stop. Because basically the judge pointed out that the NFL treats owners to a different standards than what they do players. And it's supposed to be in the bylaws. Well, take that back. It is in the bylaws that they have to hold themselves to a higher standard. Yet the NFL punishes the owners to a lower standard. Interesting. And this judge wasn't here for any of that nonsense called them out on it, and now the NFL all of a sudden, oh, well, we got to come down on the players. Never mind that Washington has been running basically a sexual abuse, whatever you want to call it, just misconduct, just basically been sexually abusing women in the entire organization for two decades. Yet, NFL has done nothing. Robert Kraft, whatever you want to say, he went out, he got caught, whether you think it's a crime or not, and personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but if you're the owner of the New England Patriots, you're held to a higher standard. The NFL did nothing. Jerry Jones, we know what Jerry Jones has done, yet the NFL has done nothing. But they will slam the book on a player if they do anything. And again, I'm not saying they shouldn't slam the book on a player, because you should. Any kind of sexual abuse, you need your head slammed in. But don't the owners do too? Come on, people. You don't have to make this one make sense.